Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that I haven't uploaded a video in quite some time, but there's just been a lot going on. I just recently moved to downtown Los Angeles, so just getting situated in my new space and furnishing has just been very time consuming. I've been working on such amazing, fun projects for you guys, things independently and things with my brand. There's a lot of things that are exciting that are in the works that are coming very soon. But besides that, I've just been trying to just like, you know, catch up on life. I finally got my home studio done and ready, which is why I'm finally able to film a video for you guys. And I promise I'm gonna do my best with staying consistent and creating a sense of a flow with recording and uploading videos for you guys. I know that I kind of started to do some before and I know that you guys really love those, but I just want to brainstorm and make sure that I'm creating things that you guys want to see. So just let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see. As I was trying to gather ideas, I started to look at other people's videos and just see the type of content that they're creating and just kind of trying to figure out what it is that maybe I kind of wanted to do and kind of spin my own take on it. I was looking on Nikki Tutorials page and I came across this video and the title said makeup shaming and I was a little confused at first I wasn't really sure what the video was about and it's I guess something that I never really thought of makeup kind of has become this thing that's kind of frowned upon for whatever reason I think that when it comes to makeup it's all about self-expression it's about really expressing yourself and having a creative outlet I know that for myself personally Makeup just really helps to express a feeling and a mood. And obviously like your makeup changes depending on like where you're going, how you're feeling, the time of the year that it is. You know, we are able to kind of really tell a story with makeup and that's really what it has become for me. I think that sometimes people think that people use makeup to hide insecurities, to hide flaws. I think if makeup empowers you and it gives you confidence, there's nothing wrong with that. I actually got the pleasure of meeting Tyra Banks not that long ago and we had a full-blown conversation about just beauty and just like her experience as a model and she said something to me that really really has stuck with me ever since she said this and she said that natural beauty is unfair and I was trying to figure out like what she really meant by that and looking at things now I think that that's very true because maybe we weren't born with like the perfect nose or the perfect cheeks or the perfect lips and if we can go to something like makeup and kind of create those things for us or look a certain way that makes us feel more confident, there's nothing wrong with that. So I just wanted to express that to you guys and I wanted to inspire you guys to really feel empowered through makeup and I really hope that when you guys look at my videos and look at my Instagram page or whatever it is, you guys are feeling a sense of inspiration because I'm definitely someone that isn't cookie cutter and someone that isn't just kind of a part of a mold in a specific group. I very much stand out because of my makeup alone, you know? I'm a gay Hispanic male and I grew up in a time where like makeup was just always frowned upon if you were a guy, but fortunately we're in a time and space where those things have kind of changed and the beauty standard and just the beauty space in general has become a lot more open-minded. I think makeup is fun. I think that makeup has become a trend and a hobby for a lot of you guys and it really has brought people together. There's makeup events, there's makeup conventions, classes, seminars, and it's really awesome that that one thing, that one common denominator, which is makeup, can bring a group of people together, it can create positivity, it creates a sense of unity, and it really creates the relationship. It's created a relationship between myself and you guys, and now we kind of have this thing going on where we kind of just like inspire each other and we're always just cheering each other on. I'm really excited because I've partnered with the Makeup Plus app. If you guys haven't heard about this app, I don't know where you've been. They've actually collaborated with tons of great influencers, including Nikki Tutorials, Bretman Rock, Kristen Dominique, and now I get the opportunity to create an awesome look for the app. If you guys don't have the app, I will leave the link in the description box below so that you guys can download it. But it's a really awesome app where you basically can upload photos of yourself and you can literally try on different makeup looks. It's almost like a Snapchat filter, but way more glam. The best part about it is the Makeup Plus app will be donating up to $100,000 to a special women's empowerment organization. All you guys have to do is download the app, try on the filters, and then upload them to Instagram using the hashtag SheUnites. Once you've downloaded the Makeup Plus app, all you gotta do is click it to get it open. Then you are going to scroll down. You will see where it says looks. Click on that. Then you will click on the collections tab and you will scroll down and see the She Unites tab with all of the looks created by Nikki herself. 
myself and Kristen Dominique. I'm so excited to have been able to create a look for the She Unites tab on the app. I'm gonna show you guys start to finish how to create this look and let's get started. I really wanted the look that I created for the app to be something that was very signature and my style, but with a little bit of a twist, which is why I opted for more of a green smoky. I'm gonna show you guys start to finish exactly how to create the look so that you guys can recreate it at home, or you can even just upload a selfie of yourself and try it on the app so that you can see what it looks like before you even decide to recreate it. Being that this look was inspired by Nikki's Power of Makeup video, I'm going to only do half of my face. I'm gonna do my right side because I feel like it's it's just my better side. And the other side, I'm gonna keep completely bare and natural makeup free. I want you guys to really be able to see the difference and really see the transformation side by side in the way that makeup really helps to transform. I'm gonna start with this NARS Aqua Gel Luminous Moisturizer. I really love this moisturizer because it does feel literally like a gel and it feels like water. It's super, super hydrating to my skin. Even though I'm not gonna apply makeup everywhere on my face, I'm still gonna apply it on my skin all over because we can never, you know, get enough hydration. Next, I'm gonna apply this Pure Cosmetics Identity Eye Cream. And my favorite part about this eye cream is this applicator. It has this really fun metal tip and you just squeeze a little bit of that product out and you just apply it with that applicator underneath your eye. It's almost like you're smoothing like something on a cake. Just smooth it out underneath that eye area. And to prime my skin and give it a little bit of a glow, I'm gonna use this MAC Cosmetics Strobe Cream. This is in the shade Gold Light, and I love to apply this before my makeup because it gives my skin a really beautiful gold shine and glow before I even apply anything on my skin. Next, I'm gonna apply my RCMA Cream Foundation with a beauty blender, and I'm just gonna stipple this all over my skin. Next, I'm gonna apply this NYX HD Studio Concealer in the shade Sand Beige. I'm mainly gonna apply this underneath my eye area as my concealer and my highlight, and I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. Stipple it all the way out. Next, I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and use this just to bake underneath my eyes. And I'm just pressing that underneath my eye area with a stiff, fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna take my Benefit Hello Flawless Powder in the shade Honey, and I'm gonna use this to set the rest of my face. For my brows, I'm gonna start with running just a spoolie through my brows just to kind of tame and groom them just a little bit. I'm gonna start with my MAC Cosmetics Brow Powder Duo in the shade Brunette. And I'm just gonna take a stiff angle brush and start to build a little bit of body to my brow. I'm mainly applying this brow powder where my brows are a little bit more sparse. Now I'm gonna take my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in shade five and I'm gonna use this to create a little bit more definition to my brows and also extend my tail. And to clean up my brow, I'm gonna take a flat brush with a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to clean up underneath the brow and blend that all out. Now I'm just gonna blend out that concealer with a little bit of a bigger brush. For my eyes, I'm gonna use this NARS Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna start off with my number 16 NYX Blending Brush. I'm gonna pick up this really soft peachy tone right over here. I'm gonna run this all in my crease, just back and forth. You wanna really, really blow out this first color all in your crease. Next, I'm gonna pick up a combination of these two middle shades right in here. They just kind of gradually get a little deeper and they're gonna help to better define my crease. Next, we're gonna define the crease a little bit more, switching to a smaller blending brush and using the darkest shade in the palette. And I really wanna keep the intensity of that shade more towards the outer corner of the eye. Next, I'm gonna take my NYX number 13 brush and apply this beautiful emerald green from this smoky Cover Shot palette from Smashbox all over my lid. Now with my NYX number 10 brush, I'm also gonna take this kind of reddish, brownish tone and run this underneath my lash line. I went ahead and I popped on some lashes off of camera. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of contour and bronze to my skin. This is literally my favorite part when it comes to makeup because I feel like it's what really transforms and really shapes my face. I'm gonna be using this MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Golden. I'm gonna apply this with this really huge, fluffy Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm gonna start applying it right in the hollows of those cheeks. 
I'm gonna apply some on the temples of my forehead. I'm gonna take a little bit of that foundation on my Beauty Blender that we used earlier just to slightly clean up the contour. I'm gonna take my JD Weighty 180 Nose Perfector brush in collaboration with Luxie, and I'm gonna use this to contour my nose. Gonna take a little bit more of that bronzer with my MAC 168 brush and just kind of diffuse that harsh line. Before I apply my highlight, oh, my bad. Before I apply my highlight, I'm gonna spray this MAC Fix Plus spray on the side that I have my makeup on. Let that kind of do its thing a little bit. For my highlight, I'm gonna use my Artist Couture Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder. And I'm just gonna lightly take this on a stiff dome brush and start to press it onto the high points of my face. I'm gonna also apply a little bit above my brow. On my lips, I'm gonna use this Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Get It. I'm gonna apply it on just this side of my lips. While my lip is drying down, I'm gonna take my MAC Extended Play Mascara and use this underneath my lashes on my lash line. Gonna also apply a little highlight down the bridge of my nose. And of course, a little highlight on the inner tear duct of my eye. And again, the very last thing you wanna do once your makeup is complete is just set it with a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC and let that dry. All right guys, there you have it. This is the final look. As you can see, this is the glam beat to the gods side. This is obviously me with no makeup, completely bare, just me and my own skin. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this transformation and really seeing the power of makeup. And I really hope that you guys are even more inspired to really just own your own beauty, whether it's your bare skin, all of your natural flaws, or whether it's you beat to the gods and really embodying that like inner diva that I know all of you guys have inside. At the end of the day, makeup is all about self-expression. It's an art. It's a way to really evoke feelings and emotions. And if makeup gives you the confidence, if it allows you to kind of, you know, walk a little bit more straight, hold your head up a little bit higher, and really, you know, feel yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's people in this world that might not understand the fact that like makeup is just more of an outlet for self-expression rather than it is something to cover all of our flaws. But at the end of the day, it's about embracing your own beauty. And I really hope that you guys really get that message after watching this video. I would just want to thank you guys so much for allowing me to really truly be myself in every which way. I know that like sometimes I can be like real extra and like super glam and sometimes I'm not. I think especially more on like my day to day on like Snapchat and things like that. And either way, I feel confident, I feel beautiful and it's all thanks to you guys and your lovely comments and all of your amazing love and support. I'm really glad that I got to do this for you guys and I really hope that you guys download the Make A Plus app. The filter for this look will be on the app underneath the She Unites tab alongside Nikki Tutorials, Kristen Dominique, and also Bretman Rock. Don't forget to upload your pictures wearing this filter and use hashtag SheUnites. I will make sure to stock that hashtag and show you guys as much love as possible. If you're not already, make sure you guys are following me on my Snapchat. Make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I cannot wait to create some more content for you guys and just create more videos that are fun and inspiring and that, you know, just kind of get your guys' creative juices flowing and that really empower and inspire you guys because that is essentially my goal and I am so thankful that I'm able to do that every single day of my life. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys thought and let me know what you guys think about the Makeup Plus app because I know that you guys are absolutely gonna love it and I can't wait for you guys to try it out. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.